Time now for your Sunrise Smart Start in the news this morning. A fire breaking out at a house in Avon Wednesday evening. East Avon Fire Department, Lima Fire Department, and other officials responding to the scene here. It isn't immediately clear if there were any injuries to report there or the extent of the damage to that house. No word on the cause of that fire. We will continue to follow this story as it develops for you. Police naming the victim in what is now a homicide investigation in Greece. The woman is identified as 36-year-old Otilia Piros. Police believe the incident happened at some point Monday afternoon. They found out about it Tuesday during a 911 welfare check. She was found shot in the head in her kitchen. No suspects have been arrested. The Rochester Police Department identifying the young man killed in a shooting Tuesday on North Clinton Avenue. According to police, 19-year-old Janel Revnell of Rochester was shot before 2 p.m. and taken to Strong Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. RPD's Major Crimes Unit is investigating. No suspects have been charged. If you have any information about this, you're asked to please call 911. The Rochester Police Department also confirming there have been 51 total homicides reported this year. This includes that fatal shooting on North Clinton Avenue. This is a dramatic increase from years past. Last year, the city saw a total of 32 reported homicides, and in 2018, that number was even lower at 28. Officials say the city has also seen its highest number of shootings this year since 2012. Minneapolis police say a man is dead after he was shot by officers Wednesday night. The incident happening around 6 p.m. there. Officials say officers pulled over a felony suspect. Initial witness statements show the suspect fired first at officers who then fired back. The Minneapolis Police Department says a body camera footage will be released today. The shooting scene is less than a mile from where George Floyd died while being detained by police back in May. Buffalo Bills fans celebrating Monday after Governor Cuomo said the team will be allowed to have fans for the playoffs. About 6,700 fans will be allowed in Bills Stadium. The New York Health Department says each fan will be tested prior to kickoff with contact tracing being conducted after the game. Fans will have to pay for their own test, which will cost about $63. It's so strange to see that file footage of everybody so close together. No masks on, isn't it, Josh? It, it sure is, but uh, we'll get there. 6.58 uh, this morning, and the weather is nice and quiet as we conclude 2020 on um, a pretty good note weather-wise. Uh, temperatures not too tough to take into the mid-30s. We do have a little bit of a wind chill this morning because of a breeze, but I mean, wind chills into the 20s is uh, nothing to really write home about. Uh, this part of the world this time of the year. Pretty uh, cloudy, as I mentioned, the front that came on through with a bit of rain last night and a little bit of light wet snow settling towards the coast. There's still moisture on the far southern end of that system. That's going to come back to haunt us, actually, as some freezing rain and then some rain later tomorrow night. But in the meantime, for today, as I mentioned, a quiet conclusion to 2020 with a mostly cloudy sky. A little bit of clearing later tonight will allow you to see the moon with temperatures into the mid-30s. Happy New Year to all. Happy New Year. Celebrate safely. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update right here in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.